Friends and haters, hello and welcome back to another video. If you're new here, hello, my name is Erica. I hope you stick around. I hope you are enjoying Vlogmas so far. If you have been watching some of these videos so far, I said that twice. Today we're going to be doing a winter favorite. I feel like my favorites videos are kind of a little bit of a hit on my little YouTube channel. So today we're going into winter favorites of some products I've been loving in the early kind of parts of the winter and that kind of late fall when it kind of feels like winter, but you never know if you're going to get a surprise. It's actually still fall, summer type of weather day, but these are some of the things I've been loving as it's getting much colder here in New York. Um, if you like this video so far, give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you like the vibe. Besides that, let's dive in. So kicking things off today, we have something kind of simple, which I don't know how I've been talked about this before, but one of my favorite makeup bags. I actually have two of these and they're from Tarte. It's something you can get pretty regularly on their website and what I love about it it's a nice big size like I think in this one this is kind of more of my skincare one but I mean you can fit so much in there as you can see it's not even full full but like when I tell you how big it is I mean look at that you can fit an entire bottle of like hair products in it and what's great is that the material is like a type of material it's easy to clean as well so say if you spill your makeup or skincare product or anything like that it's easy to kind of just like wipe off and then you're good to go and again it's also not expensive as well next for makeup is a highlight by charlotte tilbury but it's this like highlight it's called the glowgasm beauty light wand um it's super easy to use so you just oh and then as you can see it's like actually like a felt tip applicator and this middle part actually twists so right now it's like closed so nothing really would come out of it um and there's like a little spongy bit so only a little bit that's left on the spongy bit will come off and as you can see um let me see if i can get on my hand it's really nice and like um what's the word not pungent because that's a smell but it's mm, i don't know it's just really pretty um and it like will rub in really nicely. This color works really well on me. I think there are other colors. So if you're a little bit more fair skinned and you want a somewhat lighter color or if you've got darker skin and you want kind of a deeper color that will like match you a little bit more, you can really find your match. So I think there's different colors. So it's the Glowgasm wand in the color Goldgasm. Now, next in the makeup world, I've got this palette by Tarte. I lately, like, I go through phases where I really like doing lots of makeup or where I don't really as much. I feel like in the winter, I always kind of, like, dress up my face a little bit more. I'm not sure. I think, one, I think it's because I don't tend to do my hair down as much because, well, as you can tell, I think the last two videos, I've had, like, a slick low bun. But because it's colder out and things like that, I just don't have my hair out as much because the curls and the wet and things like that, I don't dry my hair. I just air dry it. So, I do my face a little bit more in the winter time. The Tarte Tartlet palettes are super nice. This is the one in the toasted um, colorway and they have other ones. I think I also have one in the Blossom um, from like Blossom. But as you can see, there's like all these really pretty colors. I like that this one's really neutral. Um, and again, th th but it's like neutral colors, like nice browns and gold, but then there's really sparkly ones. And let's see, I'm going with the color Flame. As you can see, they're also really nice and pigmented. That's the word I wanted to talk about with this as well. They're nice and pigmented. Um, let's see, let's go for another one. Let's go for this dark crackle. It's like a dark color, but it's really sparkly. I did not think that through. Um, I believe the ones that they have now, I did buy this a few years ago, but it is still available. I don't remember if the new if the ones currently on the website i think they only have nine colors where mine here has 12 but still a lot of the same colors are going to be in those same palettes now a little bit different than makeup but kind of in the same realm which i'm not sure if we've talked about before is perfume i actually love perfume and i'm kind of particular about perfume i think it's because my mom always had like was really sensitive to smells so i think she was like allergic to a lot of scents so i always have to like find a really specific scent so I'm just picky about what I find and one that I got actually from Sephora in like a freebies you know when you're buying Sephora always get your free goodies at the end this is one of them and this is the wild poppy um flavor by nest 
as you can see it's nice and tiny but it's almost done i mean this is full and i actually did put in an order to buy a full size bottle because that's how much i love it it's like a very fresh scent and like very kind of springtime those are i think my favorite scents um i kind of just light but like light fresh a little bit sweet and yeah now moving on into food <laughs> i will say there's a lot of food products in front of me which i don't know why i feel like it's just funny how many there are but let's kind of start with like fitness style supplements one of the first ones i want to talk about is c4 energy drinks you guys have heard me talk about c4 before i remember there was a flavor a few months ago that i really loved i think maybe it was my summer favorites I've been trying more um, energy drinks in general, just seeing which ones I like, which ones I don't like. C4 is one that I think has pretty good ingredients. It's zero calories, which is always nice. I personally also like a bigger can compared to like the skinny cans. I love Alani Nutrition, but I just don't like that their cans are like skinny and small. Um, where this is a 16 ounce can, where I think the others are like maybe only an eight ounce or 12 ounce. But again, I just like the size of the can, which helps a little bit. Um, they have really cool flavors with this one we, me and Charlie actually had today, which was the um, Starburst Strawberry. Are you kidding? We all know that the red and pink Starburst are the best flavors. And this really does encapsulate the flavor of that. It's super good. I have not met a C4 flavor that i have not liked so far which is a pretty big statement if you're like me and you're into health and wellness but you're also very very busy greens powder is something that's really helpful to help get in those micronutrients say like you know if you can't be eating plates and plates of vegetables greens powder is really good because it helps you get all your kind of like daily green vitamins so all the nutrition that you're getting from like broccoli and spinach and like vegetables you can get in a pretty convenient scoop in a powder form. Now, this is literally just the greens flavor in the original. I feel like it's slightly on the bitter side compared to some brands have really sweet greens. But I think I kind of prefer it to be bitter because I feel like that's more true to all the ingredients. I mean, in here you've got um, spinach, you've got spirulina, you've got broccoli, asparagus, all these different micronutrients. And... Um, I've been using this a few ways. One, I make like a matcha latte. There's also matcha in this. So I make it like a matcha latte, put it with my favorite milk, with some ice, and maybe a splash of like a sugar-free um, syrup. But lately, I've been also mixing it with um, my protein clear whey isolate. This is actually Charlie's kind of invention, which is, I don't know why I didn't think of it because I love a matcha lemonade. I've had that at tons of different places. Um, I think even Starbucks has like a matcha lemonade. And Clear Whey by My Protein, it's basically like a protein, it's a protein powder, but in juice form. So compared to like the milky proteins that you're gonna have, like a standard whey, the Clear Whey acts more like a juice. So I feel like this goes so much better with water than like a normal protein. Like when it comes to my normal proteins, like the salted caramels and things like that, that I think I've talked about before, I don't really ever like to mix those with water unless I'm really, really closely tracking calories that day. I usually prefer to mix them with a bit of milk, put them in my coffee or my oats. But these, but the clear way with water tastes so good. It literally just tastes like lemonade. And again, these two together make a matcha lemonade. You're getting both a decent amount of protein as well as your green and micronutrients. Last but not least for fitness supplements, we have Naked Harvest. If you follow me on Instagram, which if you're not, what are you doing? Go follow your girl on Instagram. I've been talking about Naked Harvest Moon Milk for I think a couple weeks now, maybe a little over a month or so. I have been loving this product. It has a few different flavors. I got the salted caramel flavor. As we know, I like salted caramel. They also have another one that was out of stock when I first purchased, but I got the sample packets of, um, it's called Vanilla Maple Chai. So good as well. But essentially what Moon Milk is, is like, Think of it like an adult hot chocolate. So it's like, you know, chai latte style, adult hot chocolate, where it's gonna have that flavor. You usually, yeah, do drink it warm, but it does the opposite of like coffee. So it helps to wind you down, make you all soothe and whatnot. It's got things like zinc and, um, ma, ma, what's the word? 
magnesium. So it's got zinc and magnesium and other like vitamins and minerals that do help to naturally calm you. It's got all natural ingredients, all natural colors. I think the coloring of the powder is like made from turmeric, which again is really good for your insides. And it's just a nice way to get cozy. Cozy up by the fireside with your moon milk. They're an Australian brand and they're still a pretty small brand compared to other fitness supplements. But I, again, highly, highly recommend. I will say, I think the shipping does take a little while if you're in the States because they don't have like a US headquarters, I don't think yet. Because again, they're still so young. I think they're only like a year or so old, maybe two years. Um, so the shipping will probably take a while, but I do think it's worth the wait. But that's just me. All right, so moving on into other like kind of standard food products that you can probably get anywhere that are not really fitness related. I have been loving Chobani milk products, but they are so freaking good, okay? Chobani milk products are some of the best that I've found, which is so funny. I don't know why. I mean, I think they have always been a dairy like brand. I think they started more with yogurt and then keep it evolving. They have the best dairy-free alternatives I have ever tried. So their oat milk, anything, delicious. This year, I found that they actually had a Chobani oat nog. So it's like eggnog, but oat. So it's, I think it's vegan. Yeah, it's vegan friendly. It is no lactose, no nuts, no gluten. Super, super delicious. The shelf life is pretty long as well. I mean, this lasts until next August, come on. And when I say it tastes delicious, it tastes delicious, okay? I've been searching for a good dairy-free like eggnog for a while. And in the years before, I found some like almond milk ones are okay, but this one definitely takes the cake. It actually has like the proper consistency. The flavor is incredible, but it's always the texture and consistency that have put me off on other brands. Chobani smashed it. A product that I probably wouldn't have grabbed were these gingerbread digestives. Again, I don't think you can get these in the US. I've never seen digestives to begin with at the stores, but if you're in the UK or possibly Canada, cause I know when my friends in Canada I'm gonna get a lot of UK based products cause you know, commonwealth or whatever but the gingerbread flavor is really good it's not too strong because i actually don't like gingerbread that much and so it's not super strong and overpowering but it's got this like nice like smokiness to it i don't know if that's the right word to describe it but very very tasty last but not least for standard food we've got bread now this might be kind of silly because like Erica, why are you talking about bread well i recently discovered that pepperidge farm make a light version of some of their breads um me and charlie we went through a whole loaf this week because we really were into like having like paninis and sandwiches the slices yes are a bit smaller but one slice of bread is only 45 calories and if you're someone like me who yes loves toast and sandwiches and french toast but because of the high calorie content don't have them very often this is a super amazing alternative and also you know helps you watch the calories a little bit more again if you're like me who's on a weight loss journey and looking at those types of things the usual bread that i love has like 130 calories per slice per slice this bread for three slices it is 140 calories you basically get three for the price of one so you can have three sandwiches for the same amount of calories as one sandwich we are now moving on into kind of like fashiony bits um for once we don't have a new pair of sneakers but we do obviously have another pair of shoes a pair of shoes i've been loving are these little booties from tom's i think i did show you guys these in my like kind of fashiony style video i do wear these for work they're also super cute for like I don't know just for anything i think i wore them for thanksgiving they've been cute to like throw on with a pair of jeans and kind of dress up an outfit a little bit more but you're so comfy but like you still kind of look dressed up it's not obviously very high i mean it's a small enough heel but i don't feel like i'm wearing a heel at all while wearing these shoes they are by tom's i don't know if i said that but tom's is a, sh a brand that i never really think of them having like nice shoe wear i always think of like the little espadrilles i always wear but they're like heels and booties don't sleep on them dad brand apparel <laughs> now dad brand apparel they make these really goofy little hats that i just love i keep getting us different ones we got matching 
little dinosaur ones. Fun fact about me that you might not know, when I was a kid, I wanted to be a paleontologist and I love dinosaurs. The more you know. But they've got really cute little hats. And they do have pretty good sales as well. Um, they've got everything from like, I got this one from Charlie that says, let's get this bread. I also got him one that said send nudes, but it's like a pot of like ramen noodles. Hilarious. Now being a curvier girl, and especially a girl with some jugs, <laughs> some might say, I have always found it really hard to find like a bralette that's both comfy but also cute, but also supportive. Well, guess what? We finally found one. This little bralette from Primark is so cute, so comfortable. I'm actually wearing it one right now in a different color. And I feel like you can tell, like, I feel like I'm, you know, I'm not like Sags McGee. I'm nice and perky, if that makes sense. But super comfortable. It's got um, adjustable straps. And I will say the straps do hold up pretty well. Usually thin straps and a big chest don't do too well. Um, it's got a scoop neck detail as well. So I feel like I would wear this probably in a darker color, but if I had this with like a big cardigan or like a jacket, I would wear it with like a high waisted pair of jeans and just this. I feel like it is supportive enough for the bigger gals. If you've been watching my videos for the last few months probably, or if you follow me again on Instagram and watch my stories, you've probably noticed I've been kind of wearing some different active wear brands. And one of the brands I've been wearing a lot is Balance Athletica. Now Balance Athletica is a brand that I think is doing a pretty good job within the like fitness apparel activewear world. For one, they have one of the most extensive sizing ranges I've seen of any brand ever. I know they did uh, have an athlete who I believe she was like a size 20, size 22 in life and she was wearing their activewear and she was one of their like athletes within their program. I think their products are super cute. They've recently come to come out with some more funky patterns. These are the Storm pants in the color, I think, Habitat, which is this cool, funky green design. What I love about these, so they took their normal design, like their normal shape of their leggings, especially with like, say, like the kind of like booty heart detail that they have. Um, but they made it in a more performance based material. So if you listen, usually their material is super buttery soft, but they did take that same buttery softness, but add a little bit of extra oomph to it. So now these are a little bit more friendly for like hit workouts. Um, they passed my boxing test and things like that. A little bit more friendly on sweat proofness as well. Highly, highly recommend. I will say their biggest downfall in my opinion is that they are so expensive. So anytime they go on sale, I definitely would say swipe a pair of something um, because I do think they're worth it. But again, the price, they're not a brand that you can buy from every month or every single release in my opinion just because of the price point but every once in a while i think they're definitely some like worth the purchase all right we're getting kind of long here we go here we go now as we go into those colder ones as we go into those colder months you're definitely going to want to be layering a little bit more probably be covering not covering up but now, as we go into those colder months, you're gonna probably wanna be laying a little bit more when you go into the gym and things like that. I personally always like de-shed, so I always go in with lots of layers and I slowly take things off as I get warmer. One of the things that I love to wear to the gym, especially now, is the Gymshark Training Cropped Hoodie. It's probably the most perfect cropped hoodie I've ever worn in my life. Big statement, I know. But I think it's so good. One, it's not super expensive. Two, it's not super thick. So it's a perfect piece to throw on where you can still put it on. You'll be a little bit warmer. You can put your jacket on or a bigger sweater over that. So again, layering. It is more of a modest crop. So it's not super, super up here where you're showing off all the goodies. It's a little bit lower, cuts at a little bit more of a flattering pace, but is flattering place but it is still this kind of nice and boxiness what i also love is on the side i don't know if you can really see it too well um because it's the black but on the side it actually has a panel where it's a kind of a different material so again you're not gonna be too too overheated but really great for layering another one of my favorite pieces right now is this track set from rider wear i'm actually wearing the pants right now they're super comfy but then the jumper as well like the hoodie 
super 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 comfy in both i think you've definitely seen me wear this on instagram a few times between my stories or my posts but it is my favorite thing i literally like i'm debating getting my family like my mom and like my sister-in-law like all <laughs> matching track sets because i think it's that good the sweatshirt's not too heavy but it's nice and like it is soft on the inside but not super super thick so it's nice um, again for this time of year and these sweatpants actually don't have the fuzz in them They're more of like a French terry I believe mom correct me if I'm wrong, but they're like a French terry material So again, they'll keep you cozy, but not overheated These are actually the type of joggers that I would wear in the gym I don't like to wear sweatpants in the gym too often because I don't like to get too too hot um but I actually would wear these like by themselves, not just as a layering piece, which they would be good for layering as well to again de shed. But I would wear the joggers for a workout alone because they are just that perfect kind of like balance of keep you warm, but not like sweating out all your kibbles and bits. And last but not least is actually this beautiful turtleneck from American Eagle. It is so cozy um and i bought it in the black friday sale that they were having they do have it in some other colors and they did have one that i was debating because it was like a cool color block so as you can see it's very unique where it's like got a cable bit here an open bit here a slightly different pattern um here in the knitting and then this bottom one is the inverse of this top one so i love that you've got kind of few different like even though it's all obviously a knit sweater you've got some different like textures going on which is really nice it fits me perfectly this is super cute super cozy and like only slightly oversized so you don't feel like you're drowning in it but you can easily dress it up dress it down as well all right, so that is going to be it for me today and this video. I hope you guys liked it. I hope you maybe can go and grab some of these things. As I know, a lot of these things are kind of more recent purchases over the last like month or two. So you'll definitely be able to get your hands on them. If you do like anything in this video and you purchase it, let me know. Just because I'm curious as to like what you guys like. Especially if you purchase from Riderwear. As you guys know, I am an athlete with them. So you can use my discount code. They actually are having a Black Friday sale. I don't think I mentioned that. And the whole site is 40 to 80% off. And you get an extra 10% off if you use my code. And if you do, let me know. Because I can hype you up. And I would love to thank you as well. But that is it for me. I hope you guys liked this video. I hope you guys are liking Vlogmas so far. Definitely keep watching Vlogmas because we are going to be having a giveaway coming pretty soon, which I'm really excited about. And besides that, comment red. And that's it for me. Goodbye.